My name is Sizwe Mpofu Walsh. I'm a South African young person and I'm representing various organizations. The first is Grow to Lead, a youth leadership organization which rolls out programs to school age learners, the Wake Up Call campaign, and I'm also representing a network of African student leaders. Why is it important for you to be here today? Well, I think it's important because peace is important. And a lot of cynics always say, why strive for peace? Um, and my response is to why, why not try? And I'm committed to trying now and in the future. And why particularly do you think it's important for students around the world to come together as one on Peace Day? Well, I think students are a group of people who haven't been dirtied by the real world, so to speak, and so we're still particularly idealistic, and this gives us an energy uh, to inspire change, and we've done that in the past. We're doing that at present, and I believe that we'll do that in the future. And what message do you think that will take out to the rest of the world? Well, I think it's often young people who lead by example uh, and get older generations to realize the mistakes that they've made. So I think it'll send out a message to older generations, but hopefully it'll send out a message to students who are younger than university students to say that the generation which is coming, uh, which is going to lead the world, is one that we can trust and we can put our faith in. And how are you and your organizations going to reach out to students both in South Africa and further afield on that continent? Well, we've committed to mobilizing our various networks. That's in the Grow to Lead programs, making sure that all the school age learners hear the message of the Global Truce Campaign. And within my African student leadership, leadership networks, I'm committed to ensuring that the message is sent out. And do you think they'll join in? I do. Um, I don't see why not, in fact. And as I say, I think young students are looking at the world at current and asking a lot of questions, questions about the economy, about global security, and also prepared to provide answers and not shy away from saying that they believe in peace uh, and striving for it. So when I go back, I'm, I'm committed to mobilizing around that, that very concept. Jeremy mentioned earlier the idea of students leading the way and governments following. What, what are your feelings about that? Absolutely. I think we're seeing more and more that governments are becoming less and less relevant and that citizens, particularly in this global information age, have more power than they've ever had before. And I think what's really interesting about Peace One Day is that it's inspiring transnational action. And a group of people around the world uh, is more powerful than any one sovereign state within its territory. And I think we need to leverage the power of transnational movements to affect change within national boundaries and borders. Do you think it's possible that we can create a world record around the, the, the largest reduction in global violence on Peace Day 2012? I think we will.